will Doug Wayne's wife uh, be going to heaven or hell? Betty is in coma, and um, I hope that she beats this and uh, heals from the cancer and, and, and continue to live in this beautiful life she, she and Doug are having. They could continue it. But as a minister, uh, I've never held a funeral service, but um, if I were to, it would be a difficult thing to say that somebody's going to hell. You know, this big drug dealer, he was the most outstanding drug dealer in the whole community. And um, I'm sure his partner's got guns in the car and some drugs out there. So you can't say, he's going to hell. They're going to start shooting that church up. you got to say something. Oh, I could just see um, uh, Gabriel and Peter waiting to give him the key and to blow that trumpet and to welcome him to heaven. Oh, yes, it's going to be a great rejoicing up there to see this great uh, drug dealer walking through heaven. And... Um, you know, you can't judge, but it depends on how a person lives. You could have a, a fair idea where they're going. Um, and, and still, God recommends that this is not our uh, forte or our um, activity. We just, uh, you know, just have an open mind and say, I don't know. Only God knows. Because uh, only the angels could know that. Uh, I mean, um, we have the concept here of judging. Jesus warned about judging. And said, you have this big bowl in your eyes, a big mountain in your eyes. And you see this little sand pebble in this man's eye. And you want to tell him about that sand pebble. Why don't take, out, take you, you know, blow up that mountain and take that rocky mountain out of your eyes so you could see good. So he seemed to have condemned it. Uh, in, in fact, because we can't know a person's heart. And, and, and even though a person is as a saint and righteous, they still have faults. And they might be something to work on, but they're still slipping and so on. However, you can't see... Um, some guy out there talking crazy, how you're going to shoot the cops up, and all this drugs is for them people over there, and all that stuff. You know, they're going to be shooting sometime. The idea the cops can come and shoot out to them, a drug dealer, the rival can come and shoot up to them, somebody that didn't sell the right thing and come and shoot them up, or you owe someone them drug, higher drug men, they will come and shoot them up. You know? So you have to decide, do I want to hang out to this guy because you're going to be killed? Or the cops can come and put a felony in you for conspiracy and, and for you know the association and so on. However, um, what happens when we die or when we sleep? Because this business here that we experience is sleep. Everybody sleeps. And sleep is the concept of you go to bed tonight and please God in the morning you wake up and you go about your business. So the idea is that sleep is when Christ comes the second time. No, when he comes the, yeah, when he comes the second time. Um, some folks going to be alive and some who were righteous and died he's going to resurrect them and and together they're going to go and meet him in the clouds and go to heaven for a thousand years and then come back and at that time he's going to burn up all these evil people with satan and so on um so sleep is the first phase and when christ comes those who re were resurrected see his coming and went back to to bed um that is the second death there in they're initiating, or that's the early phase of the of the second death, which is eternal death. Now you have the sort of idea of that hell is going to be a bad place, going to be hot and so forth. Um, I don't want to go off on how the Catholics use the uh, to build a Sistine Chapel with you know selling indulgences and and people who are told that um, they could pray you from hell into heaven and so on, and you're into you know in limbo and all this kind of stuff. Scripture, their scripture teach that, that you could pray for the dead, but the, the six, six books, the King James Version or any one of these international, new international version or whatever, uh, says that as soon as somebody dies, the thoughts perish and it just, it's over, right? Whether they were righteous or wicked, it's over. They can't change that. So, um, you know, in the Middle Ages, people didn't have the theological sophistication and understandings that we have today. However, um, so, when he comes back that after the thousand years, um, he has to burn up all the devil and all these people. And so it's not going to be a, a hell that will be burning forever because this thing has to hurry up and end. Because here's where the saints are waiting in the clouds with him for him to come out and do a creative work again, go through the whole thing. And first they put in light and this and then second day and all that. And then on the seventh day, he's going to rest and everybody will come down and have a worship. So it's going to take him maybe six days, I don't know. Maybe he can do a recreative work again, uh, or he's going to do it all in one day. I'm not sure. Um, but the type of fire that 
he's going to use is not this common fire we have here. And this was the problem with so many people in the past. Uh, they were warned that you cannot take your fire, which describes you that much, and put it on the sacrifice. It has to be acceptable to God, and he's going to send a fire to consume it. And it's the same fire he's going to use. This fire is so hot, and it's whatever is not only hot, but it has whatever properties it needs, so that uh, when Solomon and David were sacrificing thousands of bullocks in a day, all that was consumed maybe in 15 minutes, because the fire that came from God, it just burned it up. But if they had put their fire as in cremation, it would take maybe a whole year. It's rotting and it's kind of going through and, you know, it's going to be burning forever. That is what's going to take burning forever if we use our common fire. But the fire that God has is going to burn up all the wicked and Satan and everything and all the environment, burn it up. And then he's going to recreate it, bring the Garden of Eden that he had taken out from earth and to heaven, establish it. There wouldn't be no tree again of knowledge of good and bad, no Adam and Eve kind of tree stuff, because that was to test them to be, you know, something else. Uh, but there's going to be a fruit that people will eat to live forever. So after digressing so far, I, I wish Betty well, and I hope that she recovers. And um, if she passes, um, she, we all, she like everybody else, will sleep. And when Christ comes back, then uh, the angels will determine uh, from the record in heaven who um, will go to heaven and who will be in hell but as i said you know she's such a nice person and, and they do such a great work so could i i wish that uh, she goes to heaven <laughs>